WWE this year has made some incredible signings. We might expect to see more in the future. But there is one name that wants to return or is willing to return, but there's just a few problems with it. And you probably heard it all over social media. And that person is Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet, however you want to pronounce her. There have been news that Sasha Banks is willing to return to the WWE. It seems like good news, you know, that Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet can bring more traction to the women's division. But there's a, there's a huge problem with her return and it's something we probably won't see. We probably won't see Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet return. But why is it? So let's take a little backstory to how this all became. So sometime around May 2022, Sasha Banks and Naomi were women's tag team champions and they both walked out of the WWE due to creative differences and not treating the booking of the women's division really well or the booking of both of them very well especially with the women's tag team titles, but let's be real here. The women's tag team titles were never an important thing. So thereon, they left the WWE and competed on the indie scene. Naomi, aka Trinity, competing in Impact, and now Sasha Banks, aka Mercedes Monet, signing with New Japan Pro Wrestling on January earlier this year. And we saw a little subtle a little subtle performance from Sasha Banks, but earlier, again, earlier this year, around February, she suffered a massive injury that took her away from wrestling at all this year. And then there were some rumors speculating that Mercedes Monet is willing to sign with AEW, but that doesn't seem like the case. And now there is a possibility WWE is willing to sign her if Mercedes Monet gets the right amount of, you know what I mean. But there's big problems to it, and it's probably why I think none of us should expect Mercedes Monet to return. And the number one problem is she's expecting money. And I know, I know, I know I said some stuff about Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet seems she's too spoiled, and I get it, you know, money is money, you know. But the issue is she's asking for more money than Charlotte Flair's new WWE deal. Because if you heard, Charlotte Flair signed a new deal for the WWE, and it's probably the biggest signing Charlotte has ever done in her career, meaning it's making Charlotte the highest paid woman in WWE history. They never, they never revealed how much she signed for, but it's a lot of money. I'm listening. Like a lot. We don't know how much it is, but for now, all I know, it's just a lot of money. No woman in WWE, AEW, New Japan, no woman in the wrestling world today or even in the past has had a bigger contract signing than this. And her new contract includes a lot of things. And now seeing how Charlotte Flair is doing with this signing, it seems like she's going to be very loyal to the WWE and not willing to sign anywhere else, which is good, you know, because her father, Ric Flair, is in AEW. But it seems like Charlotte is staying with the WWE for a very long time. She's not going anywhere. But back to Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks is willing to sign with the WWE once again. But the issue is she's asking for way more money than Charlotte Flair's new deal. And it's unclear how much she's asking for because again, we don't know how much Charlotte got from her new contract. But it's expected to be the highest figure for a WWE female performer. Ever. But there's a few problems to it that why I don't think Mercedes Monet it would come back um, or why WWE would need her. And the main problem is the WWE doesn't see the value in Mercedes Monet compared to Charlotte Flair. And if you saw um, my video earlier this year or sometime last year, um, I made two videos about Sasha Banks saying like, oh, she left the company and she's spoiled. Um, it kind of does seem like that again, and I, I I do understand, you know, the money aspect to it. It's it's good, you know, but asking for more than Charlotte Flair is a little crazy. I feel like the value in Mercedes Monet isn't as big as Charlotte Flair, nor Becky Lynch, and those two are the biggest names in the women's division today. And looking at how the success of the women's division has gone, they've made more money than they have in the past. They've made so much more success with it. But the booking seems a little bit floppy. You know, the booking seems a little iffy. And that's where people are going to say she could help the women's division out. I don't think the WWE should sign her. But if they're willing to sign her, that's great. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But to me, I don't think it would be worth signing Mercedes Monet. Because I think the women's division is really stacked. 
It's just Triple H doesn't really capitalize the women's division well. You have so much women and the star power. I don't think adding another person could bring it up. It's just you got to bring up the superstars. And plus, you have the NXT women's division. If you bring them up in the near future, you're golden. Like, I think the women's division would be set. But it's just Triple H isn't booking the women's division right. I don't think you do need Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet. You have so many names for the women's division, but you got to build them up properly. That's really it. And Mercedes Monet being there, it's just probably going to be the same thing. Is Mercedes Monet worth that kind of investment? Would Triple H be willing to give her that much money to sign her? I don't think so. I don't think WWE would be willing to sign her again, knowing how many times she's walked out on the company and she could be willing to do it again. But, you know, they probably did it with CM Punk, you know. He came back, but never say never. But seeing the success of the WWE, they've, you know, made broke records, made more money than ever. And signing Mercedes Monet, they could do it. But I just don't see WWE willing to do it, knowing they already have a tough, uh, a big name for the women's division. Mercedes Monet signing with the WWE, I don't see it happening. So if you're a Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet fan and you will want to see her come back, I don't think it's happening, but I could be proven wrong, you know? I could be wrong. But let's take a look at the good things if Mercedes Monet returns to the WWE. The women's division could be bigger than ever. That's great. Monday Night Raw really does need a big impact for a, a female superstar because the only person we got is really Rhea Ripley. That's all we got. And we, okay, you know, we got Becky Lynch as well. But it's just the women's division is so lackluster and Triple H really doesn't build up the women's division well. So we got that there, but the negative is just, we know how Sasha Banks is. She does seem kind of spoiled about it, but like she seems really spoiled and petty. And that's another, that's a reason why I don't want her to come back. Cause who's to say she comes back and she pulls this stunt again. I'm going to say this to leave off the video. I will say it would be cool to see Sasha Banks come back as much as I don't like her as a person her in-ring performance is no doubt really great. It's really good, in my opinion. I think it's really good. I don't want to see her come back and pull the same stupid stunt she did a few uh, last year or a few years ago. If WWE is willing to give her that much money to come back, then that's great. But I just don't see um, Triple H or the WWE handing her way more money or as much money as Charlotte. Because Charlotte is... The most important female in the WWE today. I'm saying that and that's a hot take. You can say that's a hot take. You can say Rhea Ripley is or Becky Lynch is. But Charlotte is the most important woman to the women's division. You can say her title reigns are meaningless. I do agree on that. But her performance is out of this world. Her performance is great. I think she's the best female in-ring competitor of all time. Or top three. Top three. You know, you could disagree or agree. But that's just the way I feel. And I don't think Mercedes Monet could compete with Charlotte Flair nowadays. We will see what the WWE will do. We will see what the WWE does with her if they even want to sign her. Because the Royal Rumble is a month away, you know. And they could bring in a surprise entrance. That is all for today. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on post notifications if you haven't to know when I upload a new video. And make sure you guys follow my Instagram down in the description. You know, every follower counts. But thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all later.